Hello, hello. I hope you all are doing well. Today we are having ourselves a declutter day, which I've been putting this off for truly months. I'm not really looking forward to it, but it's just, it has to be done. And I feel like now is the perfect time to do it because it's summertime. I don't have any really seasonal decorations up like fall decor or Christmas decor, but we're getting close to that. And I feel like right now our home's in more of a blank slate and it's easier for me to kind of pinpoint clutter. So I just want to do this and get it done before we start decorating for all of the fall festivities coming up and then straight into Christmas. So I really do feel like it is our prime time. So we're going to get it done. I made a list of all the spots in our home that I feel need to be evaluated and need to be gone through. So we have the bathroom cabinets. It is such a mess. I just have piles of different product bottles on top of each other in my cabinet. I'll show you. And then I also want to do my personal clothing closet as well as the dresser. And then the storage closet we have on uh, just under the stairs. This that we're gonna start out here because it is a mess. <laughs> Granted, I knew I was going to do this soon, so I've just been like throwing things in there because I'm like, oh, I'll get to it on my declutter day. Well, I'm not thanking myself very much for doing that today, but we'll get it done. And then if we have time, also our media console, that might be a good spot to kind of go through. Also, our kitchen bench, the storage underneath here, should probably go through that and organize as well. But we're gonna do one thing at a time. That's why I made a list, because we're just gonna start at each section and then cross it off and we'll see how long that takes and see what our energy level is, is doing and then we'll go from there. But excited to spend time with you all. If you have a spot you need to declutter, let's just get it done together. Let's just cross it off the list. Okay, kicking things off here. It's actually kind of sad because at the beginning of the year, I spent quite a bit of time adding organizational elements so that this wouldn't happen but nevertheless we've gathered a pile of stuff anyways but at least we do have the organization in place so hopefully decluttering won't take that long if you are wondering where um i got this stuff this is from the container store it's a uh, behind the door gift wrapping organizer and then I have a bunch of different organizers from Ikea in the back So I'll link that video too if you have a storage closet where you do want to add some organization because I did find some good sources But we just have to use it. So Let's get this done. Have lots of dried floral. I love dried floral for all the different seasons and whenever I host something it's really really helpful to have but it can get kind of messy because it's more dry so it's more um you know not flaky but it just has little pieces fall off so i have a spot to put that in our kitchen though so i'm going to move all the floral and we'll go from there So whenever I open it, it just gives me a whiff of autumn and it smells so good and gets me so excited. I've 
got my recycle pile and my giveaway pile going strong around here. I also am giving away my ring light, which I used to use so much when I first started making YouTube videos, but I never use it anymore. I pretty much just rely on natural lighting, but it did me good. I got a lot of use out of it, and it's actually really cute because Brandon, I remember specifically Brandon got me this for Christmas one year when I first started making videos, which is really sweet. And like, part of me doesn't want to give it away because it feels sentimental, but it's just sitting in the closet. Hopefully someone else will be able to use it and work on their dreams. So much better. <laughs> so amazing the difference it makes. It really only took me, I don't know, 20 minutes to do that, which is totally worth the time. It just feels so much more daunting before I do it, but once it's done, it feels so refreshing and like it wasn't even that difficult. You can see the floor now, Palmer. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and tackle my drawers. They're at the point where I have to like, this one's actually not that bad, but this one and then the one to my right, it's just like, it gets stuck every time because everything's just in a pile, just stacked up far too high. And then this, so those are my PJs and then this is my workout clothes. And honestly, I feel like I use a lot of them and I wear them a lot, but I just need to fold them better and then any pieces that I no longer wear, I will give away. So hopefully this won't take too long, but that's, this is definitely the section that I very much do not like doing. And it's okay though. I just kind of tell myself like it's, it's just going to become a jumbled mess after a couple months and then I'll just need to redo it. I just know myself, like I keep it up for a while and I keep everything in its proper place, but then eventually when I'm in a rush, I'm just throwing, flinging things and want to get them out of the way. So it's just a cycle, which I'm okay with, but it's time to get it tidy. up doing the rolling method for this drawer and it's very satisfying <laughs> I do like how it looks but once I start pulling things out I don't know I mean that stayed well I was thinking it might start kind of moving around too much but we'll see and I actually have room on top to stack some more rolls so because I was thinking well I'm pretty sure I have stuff in the laundry so this will have some new additions but We'll try it out. I know I've done it before, but I can't remember how well it worked, but it is very clear to see everything, which I like. Okay, it's closet time, and I told myself after I finish going through the closet, I'm gonna make an iced coffee as a reward. That's what I'm looking forward to. So I have these shelves over here that have sweatshirts and then additional workout items. So maybe I'll bring some of the workout pieces to the drawer now that I created more space there or I'll just sort of stack the rest on the shelf. And then I'm not gonna go through every single piece of clothing because I've actually started a little giveaway pile on this shelf over here. So I don't feel like I need to do a full closet clean out right now, but I'll just do a brief little scan, see if there's anything that I know I don't wear anymore. It's so crazy with clothes because just how the trends and styles work and how you know, um, popular pieces from different decades become super popular again. That makes me really resistant to giving away some pieces, even though I may not wear them as much right now. I just feel like maybe my future daughter will want them someday, but also I don't want to think like that because I don't want to hold on to everything. But that's why I've been enjoying 
renting clothes so much more and I've used Rent the Runway, Newly. It's really nice because it kind of frees up that mindset for me where I feel like I don't own it, I'm just borrowing it myself so it doesn't need to be like this piece that I keep forever. But those are my thoughts. Let's see what we can tone down. Okay, here we have it a lot better it may look the same to you but it does look a lot better to me it just has a lot more organization and then we did end up uh, collecting two bags worth of stuff to give away so that's great for our iced coffee lineup we have our leftover morning coffee probably around a cup left over. Cheers to that. And then I have some almond milk and I'm gonna pour it over ice. Do I wanna add sweetness? I think I'm good on sweetness, but I like this almond milk a lot because it's only, it's the Elmhurst brand and it's only filtered water and almonds. Those are the only ingredients, but you're supposed to shake it a lot because it can curdle. So the shaking helps it not to curdle as much. But when I shake it a lot too, it becomes kind of frothy. So. That's a nice addition to the iced coffee. coffee to give us that extra fuel. I will say I feel like we're catching momentum. The more I declutter, the more I want to declutter and it's very satisfying. So that's why I like doing it all in one day, but for some people it might work better to do 
okay, I'm gonna declutter this whole week, but on one day I'm gonna do this section, on one day I'm gonna do that section. So do whatever works for you, but I am just, it, it does just make you feel lighter and more refreshed and organized. So really thankful we're doing this and making the time to make it happen. So this cabinet here, you can't even see it. It is just piled on with a bunch of different products. And a while back, I added in this stick on shelf, which I love. This is so helpful. I actually would love to add another stick on shelf beneath it for some shorter product bottles. So maybe I'll order that, but we'll just evaluate once we go through everything. Because the thing is, this is a nice size cabinet, but I just don't have a way to, I need to implement vertical storage for it because honestly, I've gone through it quite a bit before in the past, which definitely can get some refining, but I, I do use a lot of the products, not very often, like some of them I don't use very often, but I still want to keep them. So we'll see, but let me know if you have any personal like cabinet style shelves or I don't know. Um, different elements like I even could use this side of the cabinet with more of these stick on shelves so yeah I'm liking that idea at least but we'll see what else we can brainstorm most groundbreaking transformation but definitely looks a lot better and we pared down a few products and I definitely want to order some more of the cabinet shelves because that'll even help more. We have made it to our last spot of the day so I'm just gonna go through our media console real quick which I've done this I forget the last time I did a declutter day but it's not looking too bad. The part that I want to evaluate the most is actually Palmer's stuff because I have a lot of just like different toys and stuff that he had from when he was a puppy. So we'll go through that. And then in this side we have a bunch of games and stuff and I just opened it and it's good to go. Gotta keep all of our board games for the board game nights. But yeah, let's just go through this and then it's a wrap, yay. I forgot about this adorable bow tie. I need to put this bow tie on him more often. His first little collar. Oh my goodness. And yes, I still have some of his baby teeth that he lost. I don't, I don't know. I need to put that in a scrapbook or something. I know that's still a little weird, but I don't care. I thought it was the cutest thing. everything we ended up clearing out it's nice to see like the tangible evidence of stuff that we're no longer gonna be holding hostage in our home while we're having this home improvement themed day I'm gonna try my hand at replacing our toilet handle because the one we have now the paint is chipping like crazy on it and I don't know I could I could have looked into like paint repair kits but I've seen that I've been I've seen that done before and it doesn't blend in well. So I found this replacement. It's kind of cool because it's a black hardware toilet handle and we have different like black hardware accents throughout our home, but then especially in this powder bath. So I'm like, that's kind of a cute upgrade anyways. So I need to find myself a YouTube tutorial. There's directions on the back, but I'm a very visual person. I'd love for someone to show me every step. So I've heard it's easy. Let's see if that's the case. If you have a Mansfield brand toilet with a tower flush bell, see the instructions later in the video. We'll start by detaching the chain from the lever arm and removing your old Ugh, 
I don't like that. Oh, I gotta put my hands in there. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, I'm gonna get my rubber gloves. <laughs> taking a while because I had to watch a different video because it felt so stuck to me and one of the first things the second video said is it actually goes contrary to raggy tidy lefty loosey so I was supposed to be turning it the other way and I did use this tool at first because it was really on there so I used this guy so now I think they'll be smooth sailing hopefully on our home project and declutter day. I'm so thankful we spent the time to do this. It really does feel so nice and makes me so excited for this clean slate because we have a lot to look forward to. So many fun videos coming up. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you are well and I'm excited to see you next. Bye.